If you've been trying to sell go high level and you've struggled, if you know you have a beautiful product, you know that it'll change people's businesses, but you just don't know how to actually sell it to people, I've got something special for you. My business partner, Rahula Leem, recently literally took a sales call for one of our students to sell their SaaS and closed it in just under 10 minutes. This is a $350 per month SaaS sale and he did a live recording of it so that you can listen to exactly how he did it and I am uploading it here for you guys. If you guys have about 10 minutes and you've ever struggled to sell high level SaaS product for your agency, this is going to change your business. Let's strap in, spend the next 10 minutes with me and let's listen to him close the deal live. Tell me a little bit about it. So, but but I'm yeah. That's why I was willing to take the call and stuff. So. Okay, cool. Now you're you're currently what? company are you currently working for? I'm all I'm all ears. What what solar company are you currently working for? Oh, gotcha. Um, I'm a broker, so I work with a couple of different companies. So I work with Sunrun, Freedom Forever, um, Gold Rush Energy Solutions, uh, Energy Service Partners. Um, a couple of couple companies. Um, but like when I, when I introduced myself, I introduced myself as PJV consulting, which is like my company. Yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah. Okay. So you can, you may, so basically you give them the best solution based on their scenario and you get the best of all worlds from not only like pricing solutions and products, right? Correct. Okay, cool. Um, how long have you been in the solar space, by the way? 10 years. Oh, damn. So you're pretty much an expert by now. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I mean, yeah, technically. How's the business been this year for you so far? Been a little slow. I'm not gonna lie. Is it is it uh, because of like are people not buying solar in general during this period of time, like seasonality, or is it just it's slow in general, just across the board? Um, I think both. I think it has to do with both. And then um, I was in a little slump myself right after Net Energy Metering 3.0 came around. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't knocking as hard as I should have been and I shouldn't have let it get to me, but I did. And, um, but now I'm back. That's good. That's good. All right, cool. I mean, it's a good time to be back. I mean, solar's, I mean, just going bonkers in my mind, at least in my neck of the woods in Southern Cali in the thousand Oaks area, like everybody's kind of like getting a door knocked and then B like, I see like the solar signs on people getting their installs going on. A lot of sun run people out here. Um, in, in any event, what, what I was going to ask you is like, when, when you're going in door knocking, like, uh, is that your primary like source of how you get your leads? Uh, yes, it is. Got it. And then do you have like a database of people that you've accumulated over the last 10 years of people who've either bought solar and then, or leads that were going to buy it that fell off and maybe even the people you door knock just to get their contact info? I, I, I do. Okay, how big is that database? Just out of curiosity. Um, I I would assume it's pretty big. I don't, I don't know exactly, honestly. Got it. Okay, and then how how like, but let's just say you met somebody. I don't know. Let's say summer last year, and they you had a good conversation. It just didn't close for whatever reason. Like, how do you how do you keep track or follow up with that particular person to kind of not let that energy and effort die for no reason, so you can kind of constantly stay in front of them. Um, I really don't have a way of doing that. Got it. Okay. Now, did any of these solution providers that you, that you broker through, do they give you any kind of like software or systems to like run your business out of? Yes, they all do. Okay. Are you using them at all? Yeah. I mean, just for creating proposals. Okay. That's pretty much. Okay. So like once somebody's ready for the proposal, you generate it through that, that solution provider, right? Based on who you choose for them. Correct. Got it. Okay. Or I'll design a couple different proposals and de- present a couple different options, and then we'll go from there. Got it. Okay. So then, then like until it's ready for proposal, if they're if you don't propose anything, how do you currently follow up with those people? Uh, sales Rabbit. Sales Rabbit. Okay. And then Sales Rabbit does that allow you to do any kind of like automation or text messaging or email sequences just to kind of automate your biz? Not automated, and that's that's kind of like what i've been looking for honestly like a way that every like three to six months i could be able to send a message out like or automatically send a message like hey this is pablo but kind of like in a custom way yeah like hey mario i don't know if you remember me but this is pablo 
Um, just wanted to follow up with you. Um, don't forget about me when you're ready. Make sure to get a couple quotes. Don't forget about me because I can beat anyone else's price. Right, right, right. Okay. So then we have like a good offer that we have a price guarantee or something. Right. Okay. So, so like, I mean, that message right there, I know you were just making it up on the spot. Like we have way better message sequences that get people to get the yes going. So you can start conversations. Um, that's just, that's separate. That's easy. That's, that's, we call that database reactivations. The more important part is like consolidating like all those leads. Like, let's just say you had a system five years ago and you can send that message out. And if somebody called your cell phone and you're doing a pitch in so inside someone's house and you can't answer your phone, it can create like a text message series saying, hey, it's Pablo, I'm just in a meeting. I'll call you right back. Shoot me any information that you're looking for. And then you can have that two-way text message. So you don't lose a lead and you can start texting back and forth. Like if you like if you have that kind of system, do you think like that would have like some sort of like organization or impact on the business in any way? Uh, possibly. I mean, as long as it's... Uh... Uh, also a bilingual system that speaks Spanish and English. Yeah, it, like you, you can translate anything you want to any language you feel like. So if you have a Spanish speaking uh, clientele or prospect list, you can put them into the Spanish speaking section of it. That That's not a problem. The language is no issue. Um, it, it's just more of like, like, let, like, let me give you how I like the systems we use. The systems we use is what we offer to our clients. Like Luis offers this to the solar community and he does it for himself. And he's, he's learned from, from us, like how to, how to really kind of operate the business. I look at, this is called a CRM and it stands for customer relationship management. But think of it as like a, a, a like an, an illegal steroid, but legal. Like you can just add muscles to the business because like I'm a big fan of every opportunity as a buyer. It's my job to make sure that I push them to the limit, but I can't do that when I have like 500 people in my database. I can't call them all. There's no way I have the the manpower, the time, the energy because I have to prospect at the same time, right? But I can automate this with like the text messages, the emails, proposal templates, option templates. So instead of custom writing stuff, like when I leave someone's house, I can just click a button and it sends them all the information. Uh -huh. So that's what we set up is like, because like, let me ask you this, what's the lifetime value or what what's the average commission if you could kind of like guess, because I know it varies on how many panels and how big the size is, where the sun's located, the trees, et cetera. I get all that stuff. But if you were to kind of say like, out of all the deals I've done, this is my average commission. Um, I would probably say about thirty five hundred dollars. Thirty five hundred. Okay, and then how many how many deals on average are you wanting to do in twenty twenty four? How many deals on average? I mean, I would like to be doing five and and over. Five. Okay, so five five per month would get us at seventeen thousand five hundred in commissions. Um, now, when do you get the commission? Is it at the point of sale where uh they or is it after the install? It's after install. Okay, got it. And then from sale to install, what's that time frame look like? It just depends. Um, it depends on the company, but we're looking at about three months on average. Okay, three months. So if you close the deal today, you can get paid in in three months from now. So like basically whatever was it, January, February, March, April. So a three month delay on commission. So you have three months, right? Correct. Okay, got it. Okay, so seventeen five is five deals. What's what? What are you what are you expecting January to look like for you? Like, what if you can just forecast? Here's what I'm expecting in closed deals this month. I don't think I've closed anything this month. Okay, just, you know, this month, any anything in the pipeline that's hot that will close? Um, I probably got two that are. Well, no, actually, that's a that's a lie. I did close one, um, and I have one. I might be closing three for the month. Okay, one 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 closed, and then three more for the month, or three total. Three total for okay. right now. Got it. Three total for the month. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. So I mean, let me just do the math. So if we if it's on average, like your your commissions for for April would be ten thousand five hundred. So that's good. Okay. So so what what we have is called like it, it's an automated marketing system, and I can show you a demo. Um, where here, let me let me just Luis. I'm gonna just send him the follow up monster automation demo. Let me let me text it over to you, Luis, and then you can send it to Pablo right now while we're on the phone, so he can just kind of fill this thing in. Um, and and this is the wild part. Like I just went to breakfast with a buddy of mine that runs a 
a clothing company, a manufacturing company, like a big one. And he's hiring salespeople as well, but they have no organization system. It's basically like sticky notes, a piece of paper. It's like invoice templates. And like, it's all, it's all in these different systems. So I just showed him like, let's consolidate this all in one thing. Like I'm like, spend 500 freaking dollars a month and make you can, you're, you're, you can make thousands upon thousands of dollars by just automating your life and your business by, by increasing your prospecting time by also automating the tasks that take time. Cause if you, if you got to get a proposal out, people want that shit fast so they can make a quicker decision for you because once time and space goes by buyers remorse, they start seeing other ads, they go to Costco and they're like, maybe they can get it cheaper. And then things just happen. You know, it creates friction in the deal. But, um, Luis, I'm just sending you this link. Can you uh, text it over to Pablo for me and uh, have him fill? And then Pablo, I'll just ask that you fill your name, email, and phone number in. And then you'll see like, it'll. It, it's just a demo. What it's going to do, it's going to automatically text you, email you, and oh, it said it failed. Um, but Pablo, do you, have, do you have internet access right now? Like on your computer or in your phone? Yeah. Okay. Let me just, if you open up a browser, tell me when it's open and I'll tell you the web address to go to. It's open. Okay. So go to F U monster and it doesn't stand for fuck you. It stands for follow up. So F U monster, F U monster.com forward. Yeah. Just go to F U monster.com. And then when that page opens, I'm going to have you click the word, the button that says demo. Follow up monster. Yep. Never, okay. Yep. Click demo. The, yep. Click demo. And then just fill in that information. Yeah. Okay. And tell me once you once you filled it in, just let me know. I filled it in. And okay. then it took me to you're now about to witness the follow up monster in action. Yeah. Okay, cool. So while we're talking, you'll probably get some your phone will blow up just as an FYI. It's gonna get some emails, some texts, some voicemails. Um, so what so you'll see what it is. Now, like I said, this is a demo, so it's not gonna actually like happen this fast in a real world situation. But let's just say you were door knocking and the person said, like, you know what, now's not a good time. And and you keep asking questions and probing questions and this and that, and saying, Well, why don't I just get your name, email, and phone or your email and phone number? And then I'll just send you information and maybe we can set up a meeting. If you get their name, email, and phone number. You can put it in your system and automatically start nurturing them on like cost savings, energy savings, green savings, planet savings, like all this content that can warm them up. And now you have their information in a new lead pipeline that you can call and saying, hey, it's Pablo. I know I've been sending you a bunch of emails. I door knocked and saw you and met you. Would it be cool with you if I just came by and showed you what it is we can do for solar if you have a energy a EV car, it'll be for free. Your energy costs will go to zero. You'll be able to make money through Edison and all this and that, right? So you can make it a profit center and sell energy back to energy companies, right? So whatever the pitch is that you use, it just keeps everything consolidated. But let's just say you have 500 people right here, right now, today. If we put them into a system, we can literally send mass blast text messages and give them a, a a promotional kind of copy and saying, hey, it's just Pablo. I know we met a little while ago. I just wanted to bring up that, hey, this we have a new solar offer. We have a price match guarantee or a price beat guarantee as well. I just wanted to see if you're interested in seeing how much money you could save and see if solar is for you. Reply with yes if you're somewhat interested. Reply with no if you'd like me to take you off my list. That's how you, we automate the business because that's how you go from – like the database that's going to be sold by somebody else, or it's just going to get so old, they just inherently just lose interest. And that's what we call a decay. Like a tooth gets decayed and you have to extract it. So do leads. If leads get too old and their warmth goes down to freezing cold, they're, even if they want solar, they're just no longer willing to listen to it because their mindset's in a different place. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, that that's what this system does. It's supposed to be a top line revenue generator but also so you take advantage and capitalize on all the energy that you're putting out into the world of like door knocking and dealing with like people not wanting to answer it and all that stuff. So the, the opportunities you get, we just want to make those into commissions at the end of the day, but it's also an easy way for a one man show to run a database of thousands of people. And you can honestly do it from the comfort of your home rather than ultimately the goal is if you don't, want to be doing constant door knocking as the only source of business and kind of have like a 1% ratio or whatever the percentages are, 
you take advantage of the database and you reactivate it and you email and educate. And that's how they actually start building trust in you. And then they buy. Yeah. And, and one of the cool things too, on top of it, just to create even more income is like, if you have like even people who have already purchased from you, having like a referral based system, meaning like having a campaign where it can go out and ask for referrals you can even double or triple your income just from capitalizing off that with a system because every human's going to say, yes, of course, I'm going to refer you, but they're actually mean, no, I'm never going to think of you again until somebody asks me. This is what that allows us to do is how do we get our, our clients to be the word of mouth mavens that speak about us proactively versus reactively to make you money, right? They become your sales rep. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes total sense. Yeah, because like, in, like, are you already getting any text messages while I'm talking to you right now? Yeah, I got like three calls and one text message. Yeah, okay. So so it'll, it'll keep coming. So my point being is you, it won't happen this fast, like, because it's a demo, but it, this is, it, it'll happen, like, we pace it out. So if it was like, if you had this system, like right now, I can see you in my opportunities tab as a brand new lead. So if I, like, I'm going to mark you as don't call. But like the like my sales team will or myself, we already got alerts that you filled it in. And uh, the next step would be normally people would be like would call you and say, hey, sign up for my shit. Right. So I can see mm -hmm. uh, so I can see you in here, Pablo uh, Jimenez Ballesteros. Bal yeah, Ballesteros. And I have all your information right here in my in my in my system. Yeah. So th that's how it works. Um, it's It's pretty cool. It's probably like like made us the most amount of money by just kind of automating our business so we don't have to like pull our hair out thinking like, dang, we have so many leads and we're not reaching them in time because there's nothing worse in the world than following up with somebody and then they end up going with somebody else because you're like, fuck, I could have had that, you know? Right. So like how like now in terms of if if, if Luis was able to help you on this. Um, and get this set up for you. Do you have like your uh, like a, a way to get contacts into the database so you can start producing more more appointments? Um, do I have a way? I mean, I would have to know if I can either upload like list or um. I mean, I have I I have my own leads that I've uh, recently done proposals for, and then I can look through sales rabbit or. I can I think there's a way to download all my sales rabbit infer information. Okay. Like every lead that I've ever created, and then we can itemize it and we can delete the ones that don't have like a phone number and the ones that don't have an email address. Got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that 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 could work because then we can do Luis can run a database reactivation campaign just to spark some leads and I'll help them uh, and help you guys get it all set up in the beginning stages in the sense of like what messages should go out, how to follow up and then just navigating the system because it's like the cool, like to me, it's like a video game. It's the coolest shit on the fucking planet. Cause it's all about money, right? Like this is how, this is where the revenue is, is lost. It's lost in, in the follow-up process. Like, especially not just follow-up, but timely follow-up. Um, that's why it allows us to be in multiple places all at the same time. So while like I'm running my own business right here, right now, you're just getting personalized emails from me to you. And then it's going to nurture you into either A, I'm buying him right now on the spot or B, I just need to see more content information and figure out who this company or this guy is that, that got me in this demo. And then in the future they buy. So that's why we have like such a tight follow-up process. And that's why we could literally call it the follow-up monster. It's because any lead we ever talk to, we already know it's a pipeline deal. Sometimes they're one call closes or one door knock closes. Most often there are a couple touch points. This touch point system allows us to spend all of our time in sales and very little time in follow-up because it's being done for us. So that's how you can take, yeah, yeah. That's how you can take somebody from cold to sold. So like how, how, like going back to the numbers, like how many, how many, how many contacts do you think you could like, would get access to, to be able to upload like day one, if we were to start something or get this up for you? I'm sure there's probably like over a thousand. A 
thousand. Okay. So if if we look at numbers, let me just get into some math. Like if we just lower lower expectations to the worst expectation we can possibly can think of. But if there's a thousand people, if I do five percent of a thousand, okay, that's a pretty big number. Like if we can get like the goal would be to get fifty respondents from a thousand database, assuming the database has like obviously a cell phone number in it and a valid email. Um, but number two is they just have to have some sort of like, it can't be a cold list. As long as it's not like I bought this list and they have no idea or no interest in solar. As long as they have some sort of like, they made an inquiry, they may have some sort of uh, memory recall of you. This will work really, really well. Cause then we'd be looking at 50 or so people trying to respond saying, yes, I'm interested in hearing what you have to say. And then we book, you can book appointments from there. Okay. So, so that would, that would be the ideal scenarios. Like over the next like couple months is like, how do we turn a thousand database into 50 appointments? Um, and then, and then from there it would come down to like closing ratios. Like, so if, if you have like, let's say like, how, what, what do you think a closing ratio would be if 50 people said, Hey, I'm, I'm somewhat interested. We just don't know if they're like red hot or if they're just like, just saying, Hey, you know what? I'll listen to you. So it's kind of going to be, a, a, a respondent of people all across the buyer's cycle from beginning to close closer to the end. I would say probably like 70 to maybe 60 to 80 percent would I could close. Okay. If they let me in, I'm pretty sure I could close it. Okay. Let me, let me go with something like what my closing ratio is off cold people. Like when I sell my, my marketing services, so I'm just going to go with 30% just to even be even more conservative We'd be looking at it around just based off these numbers, 15 and 15 closes. And if I kind of back into the average commissions, I mean, that's, it becomes 52,500 and that's, that's, yeah, that that's without considering like referral business as well, you know? Yeah. Okay. So, so that, that's pretty much the, the whole thing, like the, the whole system, it's just intended to in, produce top line revenue for everybody. Yeah. That sounds really good. Cool. All right. And then, uh, Luis, are you still on the line or? Yeah, I'm still on the line. I, I ended up getting a call from my supervisor. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Um, yeah. So, so I guess like, so pa Pablo is interested in this. I think the next step is like going over the pricing and stuff like that. I know that like with, with what you have, like you have a setup fee and you have the monthly fee and all that stuff, waive the setup fee for him. Yeah. If he, if he's interested, Pablo, you can, you can cancel this thing at any time you want. It's 500 bucks a month this is the spinal cord of a business. So that's really kind of the whole, whole crux of it is how do you kind of organize the business? So like in another 10 years from now, you're set up for like pretty much retirement, not just kind of grinding it out. You know what I mean? Right. So, so that's the investment. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty inexpensive in the sense of what the upside is. I mean, but you tell me, cause I can't ever judge pricing and value to somebody else. So, I mean, if it, if it's worth it to you, give yourself a shot and try it out for at least a month. I mean, I, I always like people to try things for six months. Cause then it, cause it's like, it's like a culture and a system that you're building in, but I get it. If something isn't for you, it isn't for you. But if you're, if you don't want to live on like regret and saying like, I should have done something, try it out for a month, see if it's for you. Let's get some leads pumping. And if it works, fuck yeah. Then you, then you got a profit system built in right away and you don't even have to pay a personal assistant or an intern, you know? Yeah. And, um, is it is that is that like the lowest option you guys have available? Because with business slowing down for me, that since you know April of last year, five hundred. I mean, it's not impossible, but it would just make me like really tight right now. It'll it'll stress you out a bit, because because I know like because yeah because yeah, like he'll like I told Luis I don't know if you were off on the line listening to me I I already waived your setup fee of fifteen hundred bucks, um but in terms That's of. Fine. But but you you go ahead and tell like why why don't you like you tell me Pablo if 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 you want to do this we'll we'll hook you up for the first three months on pricing commit to three months and then we'll reduce the pricing for you and then and but but the point is like forget the price for a second let's just focus on the upside of the opportunity once you have this like I want you to get so addicted to this thing that this is your source of income yeah I mean if I if I scratch the pricing out of the way this sounds like exactly what i've been looking for and Luis knows this so so let's make something happen and i'm happy to like i don't know Luis. i mean it's your obviously your pricing so i can either negotiate on your behalf or you can chime in 
but let's like my my suggestion is this pablo if we can if you can get something done and, and get luis working for you to, to just set this thing up for you um luis if you're cool with this like give him 150 bucks off for the first three months after three months have a conversation and then move it up to the normal pricing once he's closed a couple deals so everybody wins is, is that fair for everybody could you see that sounds yeah it sounds fair Okay, from Luis. So, what about you, Pablo? Is three hundred fifty bucks fair for you? Yeah, that sounds that sounds pretty fair. Okay, cool. So, so in terms of next steps, what's your availability for Luis to kind of get with you on a Zoom just to get some basic information to do something to do an onboarding, like an email address, a, a domain name, and some basic stuff. Um, I'm available most of the time in the morning. Okay, because it because it could be Monday too. It doesn't have to be this week. If if we want to onboard on Monday, that's totally fine too. I'm available Thursday morning. Thursday morning. Okay, tomorrow morning. Oh, actually, no, no. Uh, there's tomorrow would be like in the afternoon. Okay, let, let let's do let's do uh let, let's pick that right after the call. Um, and then I guess I guess the the last bit is. Luis, if you want to just get the like the credit card information so you can set up the phone numbers and we're going to give you like a, a call tracking number um, so you can track everything. It'll automatically record the calls. So in case you need to go back and listen to stuff, then you'll you'll have all your notes, everything like recorded. And then the cool part is if you ever brought in like another salesperson underneath you, they'll have access to the system. And then all your deals that you close, they can listen to those recorded calls for training. Okay. okay. So then, uh, Luis, do you want to, do you want to kind of take the next steps? And if, if we're ready to rock, then just get the billing information from Pablo and then I'll help with the setup process of this. So it gets done. Right. Cool. So do you want me to like, are we going to get off the phone and then I'm going to call him privately and do it that way? Yeah, or? Whatever. Like we're already here right now. I mean, if you want to just handle biz right now, that's totally fine. Oh, cool. Let's see here. Thank you so much for spending the time to watch that amazing training. Like I mentioned previously, my intention is for you not just to watch that training, but if you got something out of it, if you think this information is useful, I want you to continue that journey with us. And you can do that in a couple of ways. One, I want you to smash that subscribe button so that you get notified every single time we put another one of these out, which will be at minimum once to twice per week. The other thing I want you to do is go ahead and click that next video right there beside you so that you can dive in and get shit done. Hope to see you out there.